Marty Marcus Feld. I'm your anchor, Jackson Slater, and welcome to this week's MITV. First up, we've got the news with your man, Bryce Behan. Give it to him, Bryce. Hello, Marcus Feld, and welcome to the real news, the show where 90% of our jokes only mean anything to grade 12s. All right, we got quite the list today, so listen up. First off, the librarians would like you to know that we're having a yelling contest in the library on Wednesday. Please show up. Have you ever thought about trying a new instrument? Well, lucky for you, on Tuesdays at lunch, the band room is now open. You can play any instrument you want, free of charge. Expect to see you here. Mrs. Watt has signed a petition for all math classes to be replaced with Manga High. That's pretty awesome. And lastly, I have some very, very sad news. Due to the new Fridays we've had this year, we will not be having a spring break. I'm sorry I had to break it to you this way, but it's just the way it is. And that was the real news! Back to you, Jackson! Thank you, Bryce, for keeping us up to date on the latest school policies. Now to Charlie, with things that make you go, huh. Hey, Mark Isfeld. Do you know a bear's lifespan is average 30 years? Go ice! Rawr! Huh. The senior boys basketball team wrapped up their last week of practices before provincials, and they finished off with a nice team dinner meeting. In other sports news, we have two grade 12 students that recently made great accomplishments in their respective sport. Connor Glovatch and Caden Glenwright both went to provincials for wrestling last week. Connor finished 8th in his weight class, and Caden finished 9th. That's two top ten finishes for Isfeld wrestlers. Great job, boys. Hey, Mark Isfeld. Did you know that there's a staff versus students soccer game going on today? Let's check it out. Hey, Mark Isfeld. I'm in disguise right now, but it's actually me, your ranker, Jackson Slater. I'm going to be the ref for the two students, blah, 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 students versus teachers soccer game. It's going to be a blast. Oh. <laughs> so. This is the beautiful game, right? But it can get nasty real quick, all right? I'll use these cards at any minute, all right? Don't think for a second that I won't kick someone out of this game if I have to. No teacher or student is safe. Exactly. That's great. Now, um, 
Now that you beat the students, do you feel like you're going to have to grade them harder on their tests when they're in school? You're going to give them a bit of a break just because you beat them so hard in the court. Do you think you're going to give them a break in class? Or? There will never be a break in class. In fact, I expect them to fight harder That's right. in preparation for this World Cup. Is that the next one? Yeah, that'll be the next one. And that's going to be yeah. our first win in years. This is a good yeah. start. That's what it's all about, you know, intensity, commitment, excellence on the court and in the physics room. Yes, time. and yeah. love. It's all about love. And love, also love. Never, Never forget, forget the love. love. Yeah. Always love. Great day, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> You know, turns out, I don't think soccer refereeing is for me. I think I might. I should probably go into newscasting or something. Maybe I could be an anchor. Yeah, that'd be cool. Stay frosty, Mark Hitzfeld. Oh, I got more. It's worth it. Well, that's not. What are you thinking of?